Here's some free code for drawing graphs on OLED type displays. These functions work for Adafruit SSD1306 libraries, but should work with any microcontroller like Teensy's or Arduino's. I'm giving you functions for drawing vertical or horizontal style bar graphs and are perfect for drawing things like battery levels. You also get a retro style dial graph for displaying things like speeds. But my personal favorite is a Cartesian coordinate graphing function which is perfect for plotting things like temperature trends. Before you add these functions to your code, connect your OLED display. The one shown here uses the I2C bus, so simply connect SCL to A5 and SDA to pin A4. Also note the address written on the back of the display. Chances are it will have a jumper across hex 7A or 78. Let's take a quick look at these functions. I'll not go into each line in detail, but just show how to use them. In the comment block, I list the source for the libraries and the display, and pin connection information. As with any sketch, include the libraries first, then create your variables. There are some required defines for the OLED display. Create any variables you need for your project. Here, I'm simply measuring the sweeper voltage on analog A0. My functions are simple methods, so you don't need to create any objects, but you will need some variables for tracking previous data points and display flags to minimize screen flicker. The setup doesn't require anything fancy other than initializing the display, but note you may need to change the address of the display from hex 3C to 3D, depending on what your address of your OLED is actually set to. The loop is just as simple. First measure any values you want, then with a single line pass that value to one of my functions. I do have two functions that draw small graphs so you can show two simultaneously. Both simply display the value read at A0, but the second graph could just as easily show readings from A1. The argument list is long, but that gives you control over the size and location for each of the bar graphs. I do pass the display object in and is useful if you have two displays and want to draw one graph on each of them. Note, these displays are very small, so your options are limited in how much data you can actually show. Figuring out what the parameters are in my ridiculously long arguments is best done by reading the comment block for each of the functions. I give you control over the location, size, and scale, as well as a title. Calls for each of the four functions are basically the same. Well that's it. Use these functions and give your project a professional look with a graph. Thanks for watching and feel free to comment.